Mom said, I have to deliver this letter to Miss Ollie who stays in house number 8. But there are so many houses here. How do I find Miss Ollie's house? I will begin from here. Looks like I'll have to search each and every house for number 8. <laughs> hey Amber, what are you doing here? Hi Sayona. Mom has asked me to deliver this letter to Miss Ollie. She stays at house number 8. Searching all the houses is going to be so tiring. But you don't have to do that. See, the houses here are numbered in a certain number pattern. Once you understand the pattern, you can easily find Miss Ollie's house. What is a number pattern, Sayona? And how will it help me find Miss Ollie's house? Oh, sure, Amber. I'll help you. A number pattern is a list of numbers that follow a sequence. You can make a number pattern in many ways. These number bubbles will help you understand a type of number pattern you can make by counting in twos. Look! The bubbles have numbers from 1 to 10. I will now count in twos starting from 1. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The numbers in the pink bubbles are called odd numbers. You get odd numbers by counting in twos from 1. Odd numbers end with the digit 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Wow! But what about the numbers 2, 4, 6 and 8? I was just coming to that. Let us go back to the bubbles. Let us count in 2's starting from 2. Can you make the number pattern, Amber? If I count in twos, starting from two. So the pattern is two, four, six, eight, ten. The numbers in the green bubbles are called even numbers. You get even numbers by counting in twos from two. Even numbers end with the digit 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0. In this pattern, you will find that the size of each number is greater than the previous number. The pattern keeps on growing. First, it's 1, then 3, then 5 and so on. So, an odd number pattern is a type of a growing pattern. In this pattern, you will find that the size of each number is greater than the previous number. The pattern keeps on growing. First, it's 2, then 4, then 6 and so on. So an even number pattern is also a type of a growing pattern. Now, I will test if you have understood odd and even numbers. This is a number chart. It shows numbers from 1 to 100. It will help you to find the odd and even numbers. So, Amber, which are the odd numbers from 30 to 40? Hmm, odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. 
So the odd numbers are 31, 33, 35, 37 and 39. That's right Amber. Now, can you find the even numbers between 70 and 80? I know that even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So the even numbers between 70 and 80 are 72, 74, 76 and 78. Very well done, Amber. That's the correct answer. Sayona, you have taught me about number patterns. But how is this going to help me search Miss Ollie's house? <laughs> Amber, the houses here are divided into left side and right side. And each house is numbered. The houses on the left are marked with odd numbers. And the houses on the right are marked with even numbers. Okay, now I will be able to find Miss Ollie's house very easily. Yes, Amber, there are some other points that you have to keep in mind. What are those, Sayona? Just answer these questions. Take the odd number 5. Now, add 1 to it. What do you get, Amber? 5 plus 1 is 6. It is an even number. So, odd number plus 1 is an even number. Very good, Amber. Now, take the even number 4. Now, add 1 to this. And we get 5, which is an odd number. That means, even number plus 1 is an odd number. So in this way, we can easily form even and odd numbers. Yes, Amber. Also remember, when you add an odd number like 1 to an even number like 2, you get 3, which is an odd number. So the addition of an odd and an even number gives an odd number. Also, addition of any two odd numbers or even numbers gives an even number only. For example, 9 plus 15 gives 24, an even number. And 14 plus 28 gives 42, which is also an even number. That was very informative, Sayona. I must leave now. I have to deliver the letter, then go home and study. Bye. Bye, Amber. <laughs> now, Miss Ollie's house is number 8. And as 8 is an even number, her house must be on the right-hand side of this lane. This is number 2. And next to it is number 4. This is... Hey! There is no number written here. But wait! I think I know what number this is. The houses on this side are even numbers. I saw house number 2 and 4. So the next number in the even number pattern is 6. And the even number after 6 is 8. This is house number 6 and the one next to it is house number 8. Hooray! I have found Miss Ollie's house. Hello Amber. How are you dear? I'm fine Miss Ollie. Mom has sent you this letter. Thank you Amber. Your mom had called. She told me you are on your way. But you took quite some time son. Sorry, Auntie. Actually, I couldn't find house number 8. Sayona helped me find it. She showed me. Wait a minute, Amber. Looks like you have quite a lot to tell. Why don't you come in? Wow! 
Sayona has taught you some interesting things today, Amber. Odd and even number patterns are really very interesting. I didn't even know there were two types of number patterns. No, Amber. You can form as many patterns as you want. Odd and even numbers are just two of them. Can you give me an example, Miss Holly? Sure, dear. I'll show it to you on my son's blackboard. I have taken an even number two. Now, I'll add two to it. It is equal to four. Now, to the answer four, I'll add four, which is equal to eight. What will be the next step, Amber? To this eight, I'll add eight. which will be equal to 16 very good dear so you can see we have a number pattern here 2 4 8 16 how we can make different number patterns and all are growing patterns that is what sayona said miss holly I have thought of another number pattern. I will start with the number 1. Now, I will add 3 apples and my total becomes 4 apples. We add 3 apples to 4 apples to get 7 apples. That was very good, Amber. You are a good student. Now, Let's have some fun with number patterns. We'll play a game. In this game, we will use number patterns and letters. I'll write a message. You have to guess the message. Let us call this game Decoding Messages. Decode this, Amber. Amber, don't look so confused. It is not difficult at all. I'll show you how you can do it. The number pattern is 8 followed by 9, which is again followed by 8, and this continues. You have to find the letters between these numbers. Y O U A R E A O O D S Q U I R R E L. You are a good squirrel. Isn't it the right answer, Miss Holly? That's right, Amber. These alphabets were hidden in the number pattern eight nine eight nine eight nine. You found them and you got your message. Yes auntie now i'll give you an example and you find out the message i'm going to use the pattern of odd numbers i need the odd numbers up to 19 so 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 17 19 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 R Y. Now, Auntie, decode this message. Okay, Amber. The message is, I am hungry, <laughs> and I get your message. How does chocolate cake sound? Hmm, sounds good to me. <laughs> That was fun, Miss Holly. I'm going to play this game with all my friends. I shall also tell them about number patterns. Let me write down all the points. Miss Holly, can you please help me? Sure, Amber. We can make number patterns in different ways. We get odd and even number patterns by counting in twos. Odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Even numbers end in 2 4 6 8 or 0 
adding odd and even numbers in different ways gives different results. 1 plus odd number is equal to even number. 1 plus even number is equal to odd number. Odd number plus even number is equal to odd number. We can make patterns by adding equal numbers to odd or even numbers. We can make pattern by using multiple of the odd or even numbers. We can form a pattern by arranging both alphabets and numbers using them in particular order. A secret message can be written using a number pattern and inserting alphabets between the numbers.